there is right now a very heated discussion going on, certainly. In that lies the risk of a trade war. Uh, I would argue very much that it would be very good for everyone to sort of sit down, calm down, take time out, <laughs> and start looking at the rules. Uh, I th if you look at the rules, the rules are not bad as they mm. are. S there may be need of reform in the rules, yeah. but that's fine. Then you can argue that, and you can sit down and, and in a diplomatic yeah. way agree that. Uh, and, I, and I think that the, the, the fact that we may be moving away from a rule-based trade sounds almost too terrible to be to even have a risk for this. So let's assume that we can take time out for a while. In this can we take time? I agree fully with, well, with Leib that sanity needs we to be We got a though. very united we panel need, today. We need, <laughs> uh, we need cool heads around the uh, table. And maybe this might even be a negotiating uh, tactic or strategy. It could be. To uh, you know, push the um, contestation to a point of brink, uh, sort of to, to, the, to the brink and then uh, go to the negotiating table. But the markets table. are already reacting. Trade war today versus, let's say, 50 or 80 years ago is a very different proposition. So if you look at a product, let's say iPhone, or I don't know what iPhone when you're sitting next to Ericsson, but you know, the, these things are assembled here. doesn't mean, if you look at the global value chain, mm -hmm. not all the IP comes from one country. So it is very difficult to push this to its logical conclusion because mm -hmm. the world is so integrated and interconnected. Politics is trying to tell us it's black and white, but actually the economists are telling Much us more. it is definitely not black and white. Anything but. Mm. Uh, anything uh, but black yeah, and white. Anything but black and white. We, we have different industries mm. will react differently. Different countries will react yeah. differently. And you have global supply chain. I had an example in, in my own company at Ericsson, where we have 22 countries involved in producing one product. Yeah. Uh, and and that is only one product. That's one yours. product. And if you start thinking about how that comes across different mm -hmm. industries, automotive, uh, etc., then you really end up in a very, very not black and white picture. You end up in a very complex uh, organizational thing that yeah. is going to take decades to change if, the n if new regimes actually come in. Mm. So very uh, profound effects on everything that has to do with supply chain.